this is the languages building. This room is mostly for Chinese. Chinese, and there's lots of, I guess, Chinese things in here. And this is our, our staff room. And we have a sign up here that says languages staff available 24-7. <laughs> Oh, I absolutely love my job. I'm enthusiastic about it. I, I love teaching the students. They're highly motivated, um, engaged, innovative, creative. We do a range of things from junior years up to senior years. Um, with the junior years, we do a lot of projects. Um, we're making a movie for a, for a Japan Foundation competition. We're doing actually an art project using Japanese, which is funded, I guess, or sponsored by the Japan Foundation and the Art Gallery of New South Wales. So there's lots of, I guess, opportunities for the girls to use their language, but also combine it with, with art, with music, with film, um, with manga. We had a really fun time last year where the girls created their manga and we shared it with each other and they really, really enjoyed that. So, yeah, I, I feel I'm really, really blessed. I love what I do and I love teaching students that are similarly motivated and really enjoy, enjoy what they create in the classroom. When I was, when I was, when I moved to Osaka, I emailed everyone to say that I'd moved there and I'd got a new job and I'd met this guy called Ayumi. And I had one friend email me and said, Sally, is he okay? Are you sure? Are you safe? Is everything going to be fine? I said, well, I don't know. I said, I guess I'll see how it goes. But I said, I feel comfortable with where things are at at the time. And this was probably about three or four months having, having met him. So it was quite an early decision for me. And I guess I, I didn't know what I was letting myself in for. He didn't enjoy speaking English at that time. And he felt a serious amount of frustration when people would come and visit, particularly my friends from university who, um, most of whom are lawyers, and they speak really, really quickly, and he would be so frustrated. He'd be like, chimpun kampun, wakaranai. He'd say, I can't understand it. And he'd be really, he'd say, I want to participate in the conversation. He had a real amount of... I think frustration at the time because he couldn't say what he wanted to say. At the time, yeah, he would often feel sometimes, I guess when we were out and about, he'd, he'd feel that people were watching him because we were together. But he doesn't look conventionally Japanese. So many people, I presume, and we ended up presuming, just thought he was foreign. So that was quite interesting. Sometimes they'd ask us where we were from. And he'd say, And then they'd go, oh, wow. And they get such a shock. But it's interesting that Japanese people's um, perceptions of us were shaped by me with my red hair standing next to him. Leaving him by himself, they'd probably just presume that he was Japanese. But when we were together, totally different perception. I guess in Australia, it's completely the opposite. No one's ever stopped him in the street and said, you know, where are you from? It just doesn't happen like that. So it's a lot easier, I think, if you want to assimilate. I guess that's, the, that's one of the questions that we would raise. If you want to assimilate in Australia, it's really easy just to fit in. You don't, you're never asked who you are, where you're from, you know, what languages do you speak. But in Japan, it's very much, it's quite a dichotomy. You're either Japanese or you're not. And people like, I think, to determine that. Looking at me, obviously, I'm not Japanese. But he blurred the lines a bit. He was dating me. We're walking around, you know, traveling and doing things, meeting people. And people would assume perhaps that he wasn't Japanese because of having me near him. So that was quite interesting, I guess, from a cultural perspective. Then, Sydney came to Kara, I was probably not going to be able to speak English. I was going to be able to speak English. I was going to be able to speak English. I was going to be able to speak English. I was going to be able to 本当にね、生活できるかなってちょっと心配してましたね。彼もえっと、ハースビルのていうか、モチベーションも上がったと思うんですね。絶対僕英語できるぞって言ったので、それもすごくあの、ま、いいことでしたかな。
visiting his parents' house feels like going home for him, but I still feel like I'm a visitor there. And I've never lived in his village. When we lived in Osaka, it was for a period of time. He was there for much longer than I was, but it was a good three years. So I enjoy going back there and seeing all the locals and talking to the shopkeepers. But I feel my home is definitely Australia. If, however, though, we would live there for a significant period of time, maybe, maybe, I, maybe I would feel differently about it. I love visiting, but I'm, I'm glad also to come, to come back, I guess.